Hi guys, it's Jen here again. Today I wanted to make a quick video addressing something known as the shadow self and core fears you know, in our lives uh, that, are, that often govern our lives. Um, so I'll start with explaining what a shadow self is. I guess your shadow is your subconscious. Okay, so if any of you are familiar with Freudian psychoanalysis and his theory of the iceberg, um, you will know that the tip of the iceberg, which is very small um, in his theory, is what you know we're able to see about someone. It's their appearances, what they show to, what they choose to show us about themselves, their ego selves, and then what's under. The surface of the water is the rest of the iceberg and that's the majority of it and all of that is said to be um, pretty much unconscious perhaps what's just below the surface of the water is subconscious so sometimes it rises above and we're able to kind of get hints about you know what's down there beneath the water but you know the majority of the iceberg the majority of our psyches and psychologies are completely unconscious and we're unaware of how um, those unconscious desires and um, and that foundation is driving us you know uh, driving our behavior and uh, emotional and instinctual responses and whatnot so the idea of the shadow self is our unconscious selves the collective unconscious the personal unconscious things that have been rooted rooted deep down within our psyches that we're completely unaware of in our day-to-day -day lives and like i said because they're so unconscious they um they basically do run the hardware you know they uh they determine how we respond to things in our environments and in in our lives instinctually um, there are a lot of times there are emotional responses, there are temperaments, etc. The shadow self is the origin of our core fears, okay? Because our core fears are at the very core of our personality, so they're at the very bottom of the iceberg. And what they tell us is... Um, and what they are, I guess, is a direct manifestation of the traumas that we endured during our early years in life, our childhoods. And the reason why it's so important to identify these core fears is because they heavily impact our lives. They, um, they determine, like I said, your very instinctual and automatic responses to things and sometimes they can really cause problems throughout within our lives um, if it causes us to respond and react to things in ways that are completely irrational. So we need to identify what those core fears are and uh, what what we were almost conditioned, you know, in in our early life to feel or. Uh, to think in response to uh, certain things in our lives. So if we go through our lives lacking the awareness of what's in the unconscious, we'll always, well first of all, first of all, we'll always be somewhat unaware of what's going on down there under the, under the water. Um, we're never going to be completely conscious of what goes on in our unconscious minds um, but every time we make an effort to bring something from the unconscious into conscious awareness we are able to exert um, control over that and that's very important if you want to prevent our core fears and um, our shadows from interfering with our uh, normal day-to-day -day -day functioning in our lives and how do you identify these core fears you have to look at patterns throughout your life and ask yourself what is a recurring pattern in my life 
um, have I always had you know relationship issues have I always had uh, problems with authority and um, respecting them um, have I always had a fear of abandonment uh, have I always been insecure in my romantic relationships um, what else have I always had a problem with commitment you know if these are um, overarching themes in your life then there's a big chance that it's rooted in a core fear um, that was developed when you were younger when, during childhood so the key to kind of overcoming that core fear is to identify it and become aware of it and when you do become aware of it you can start becoming aware of your instinctual reactions you get based on that core fear so maybe um, let's say you notice you have, you have a core fear of committing in relationships and that comes from uh, let's say a fear a fear of being kind of tied down or controlled by your environment or are those in it um, so in your next relationship perhaps you can identify why you get such a strong reaction when you're forced to commit in a really in that relationship um, and you can perhaps you can realize it as a part of your own psyche um, as a as a manifestation of your core fear rather than um, a problem about the relationship itself or even worse the other person so you you begin to shift you you begin to shift your awareness from the uh, external object or the relationship itself to your internal world um, which is your psyche and your core fears or subconscious and you begin to realize that oh that's where kind of my um, that's where my instincts are coming from. That's why I, I feel this way. It's not because of this other person. You know, nothing, they may be triggering that core fear or that response, but they're not the culprit. You know, the culprit is within you. It's your shadow self. It's your core fear that's pulling the strings. It's controlling your every reaction and every behavior. So that's why, um, it's very important to identify what your core fears are and along with those core fears and if you dare to go any deeper you can have a look at your shadow okay our shadows are our you know very unconscious desires deep 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 down into our psyches that most people are probably not aware of some people would you know have a, a vague idea you know of what it is that we want our subconscious drives our you know deepest and darkest desires and the reason why i say they're dark is because they're in the dark they're literally in the dark and we're not aware of them and because we're not aware of them they they actually become very frightening when that desire does manifest itself in uh, reality because we never saw it coming we were never aware of it to begin with we didn't even know it existed so um, having a conscious awareness of your sub of your unconscious um, has many benefits has many advantages because you have the advantage of uh, controlling those desires when they come out and you also have an awareness and knowledge of your own potential you know, and oftentimes that potential can be a bad one, can be a destructive potential. And if you're able to identify that potential before it's acted out, you can control it. Um, so yeah, um, I won't go into the shadow self that much in this video, although I might in another one. But in this one, I just wanted to yeah, point out your core fears, uh, why they are important. Um, why they are so interesting as well. I hope I hope you found that interesting to me. It really is. Um, like I said, our core fears usually developed in our early years in life. You know, um, oftentimes during our childhoods, critical periods of development, um, often associated with parenting, 
So you can think about how you were brought up, what parental figures you had, what um, important figures you had when you grew up, um, and you know, parenting is hard. Uh, don't blame your parents for it. I'm sure they tried their hardest, but um, most people aren't aware, you know, of the impact of parenting. We're all, all of us have core fears, you know, um, but as long as we're able to identify and become aware of them in our later years in life, um, we can learn to control them um, and we can prevent them from taking control over us in our lives. I hope this video was educational or interesting or helpful in any way and I'll talk to you guys next time.